Hello and welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. I am Wasbir Hussain. Around 170 people have died, 200 or more undergoing treatment in hospitals, many in critical condition. Yes, I am talking about the hooch or spurious liquor tragedy that had hit tea garden workers in Assam's Golaghat and Jurhat districts this week. What is shocking is that despite the existence of a government department called Excise, presence of the police besides a plethora of community-based organizations, not to speak of the moral policemen and women present everywhere, such a big business of selling cheap toxic alcohol is still prevalent in Assam, particularly in the tea garden areas. The big question is, are the poor supposed to consume cheap alcohol to relieve them of their worries and anxieties? What does it reflect on Assam's otherwise prosperous tea industry that contributes more than 50% of India's tea? To discuss this huge social menace, largely prevalent among Assam's tea garden community, I am joined by a dynamic political leader, Mr. Pallab Losundas, Assam Minister for Tea Tribes, Welfare, Labor and Employment, Mr. Dhiraz Kakoti, former Secretary of the Assam Brands Indian Tea Association, Mr. Pavan Bedia, General Secretary of the Assam Tea Tribes Students Association, Dr. Sangeeta Datta, a very well-known psychiatrist, and Mr. Dipankar Barwa of the Hope Foundation, an organization in the non-government sector that, that deals with drug addiction and, of course, alcoholism. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Now, I would like to begin first with Mr. Dhiraz Kakati. Mr. Kakati, uh, you have been in tea garden administration for more than three decades. My question is, 70 years after independence, uh, it's a not, not a question of who is in power. That is not the important issue. Why is this social menace, alcoholism among the tea garden community is I mean, not been able to, uh, no one is able to tackle this issue and it is still flourishing the illicit liquor trade. Namaskar. Let me first begin with by offering my condolences to the bereaved family. It is very unfortunate that even after 70 years of India's independence and more than 60 years of the Plantation Labor Act, that we still have to face a tragedy of this magnitude. <clears throat> particularly with the tea garden community. Right. There are numerous factors into it. I will not go into elaboration at this stage, but it, let, me, it, let it suffice by me mentioning that management, government, society, everyone has to take an equal responsibility in reshaping the destiny and the future of the tea trade Absolutely. Community. So I will take that as your opening remark where it's not just one agency or the government alone responsible. Everyone has to take responsibility and deal with this problem together. Uh, Mr. Paban Bedia, now you are the General Secretary of ATSA, which is a very important uh, organization representing the tea garden community. So what in your view, what is this issue? You know, why is this issue my same question goes to you. Who is, where is the failure? Why is cheap alcohol so easily available? And it is only the poor. Now 170 people have died. So many children have become orphans. This is a tragedy of very severe magnitude. Now my question is, only the poor are supposed to take this cheap liquor. Why is this happening? Right. <coughs> First of all, uh, tea garden people are very poor. And they have working in tea garden a day long. And they have nothing any else. So for uh, that means what? For relaxation, they yeah. have take uh, some liquor only for relaxation. But uh, another thing is there. Uh, people of Assam blame tea garden people. They have habitual in. Uh, alcoholic liquor. Yeah. Uh, in in today's in nowadays, every people who is are lived in tea garden and village area in remote area, uh, most of people uh, take liquor. Uh, it is the habitual. Uh, but main thing is there. Uh, government is totally failure to control the concerning department. 
Yes. Uh, that means uh, excise, excise, excise and police department. So, uh, so Pawan Media, you are basically, you are basically uh, saying two, three points as your opening remarks. I'll come back to you. Your main point is that tea garden people are extremely poor. Oh, they take right. liquor as a means of relaxation, for, and the government, two important departments responsible for this, that is excise yeah, and right. police, have yeah. failed. I'll come back to you, uh, Mr. Dipankar Barua. Uh, yeah. You know, before I come to you, uh, Sangeeta, and then go for a response from the minister. Uh, Dipankar Barwa, you know, same question I want. Uh, is it the responsibility of only the government? You have been working in the field of drug, drug addiction as well as alcoholism. What is your experience from the ground? Uh, frankly speaking, I don't want to blame government about all this because lack of awareness. So see, basically I want to uh, talk to all the people of Assam. So I've been speaking in Hindi. This uh, is the Nasa, we say that alcoholic, what is the difference between a social user and alcoholic? So, we say that alcohol is the same as a social user, it is the same as a pack or the same as a Nasa. But alcoholic is the same as a He is dependent. He is addicted. He is addicted. And it is the same as a Nasa. So, the same as a dependency is that alcohol is a chemical and holic means disease. हम ये समझते हैं पुराना जमाने से हम ये सोचते हैं कि अल्कोहल कोई एक ड्रग्स नहीं है लेकिन अल्कोहल इस आल्सो ए ड्रग्स बट बट डिपंकर यू नो बट दिस इस द बिजनेस इट इस अ फ्लोरिशिंग बिजनेस इफ द बिजनेस इस टैकल्ड देन द द प्रॉब्लम इस टैकल्ड तू ए ग्रेट एक्सटेंड इसन्ट इट अगर अवेलेबल नहीं है अल्कोहल इतना इजीली अवेलेबल है इतना सस्ता में मिलता है ये दो कारण है इजी अवेलेबिलिटी एंड द चीप मींस इन व्हिच इट इज अवेलेबल सो हु इज रेस्पोंसिबल फॉर दैट सी द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट अवेयरनेस का अभाव यानी कि अवेयरनेस नहीं है उनमें उनमें ये मालूम नहीं है कि अल्कोहल के जैसे अभी हाल ही में कितने आदमी जो मरा है आप आप उनको उनके बारे में सोचिए तो वो यही बोलेंगे कि उसको अवेयरनेस का अभाव है वो अल्कोहल ले लिया है लेकिन सारे गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल हो या कोई एन का आदमी हो वो लोग का लैक ऑफ अवेयरनेस और डिमांड के हिसाब से ये ज़्यादा हो रहा है और जहाँ तक मेरा ख्याल है कि हम जैसे अवेयरनेस जो भी करते हैं उनको ये नहीं मालूम होता है अल्कोहलिज्म क्या हुआ है और उनका प्रीमेच्योर डेड भी हो सकता है सो अवेयरनेस अवेयरनेस आई कम बैक टू यू डॉक्टर संगीता दत्ता यू नो पवन बेटिया हैज मेड अ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट ही सेड दैट टीगार्डन पीपल आर एक्सट्रीमली पोर आई मेड इन माय इंट्रोडक्शन आई सेइंग दैट इट्स टू ओनली आर द ओनली द पोर सपोज टू कंज्यूम चीप अल्कोहल व्हिच व्हिच आर लार्जली टॉक्सिक टू गेट रिड ऑफ देयर एंजाइटीज और टू डिप देयर ड्राउन देयर एंजाइटीज एंड फियर्स एंड अप्रिहेंशंस एंड फ्रस्ट्रेशंस व्हाट डू यू थिंक हाउ डू यू लुक एट इट इन रिस्पांस टू दिस क्वेश्चन द पोर कांट अफोर्ड बेटर अल्कोहल इफ एट ऑल दे हैव टू टेक अल्कोहल बट सी इट्स मल्टीफैक्टोरियल Lack of awareness is just one issue. Apart from that, like uh, Mr. Kakuti has mentioned a short while back, I think there are issues with the management, there are issues with the government, there are issues with the people, the socio-cultural norms too. Because one issue is definitely that these people are very poor and they don't have any other uh, modes of relaxation or leisure. So alcohol is very affordable and easily available. So that makes it, uh, you know, they, they are much more vulnerable to actually become victims of alcohol abuse and later dependence. That's one. Lack of awareness is also an important issue because these people are not aware of the physical and the emotional damages that alcohol causes to their body and to right. their minds. Plus, they're not aware of the social repercussions. They're not aware of the financial reper repercussions also. So we have to build awareness there too. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, the socio-cultural norms cannot be denied because I have seen people coming from those areas, uh, you know, children. They come and tell us, well, uh, sometimes I get um, maybe adolescents, you know, who are into alcohol alcohol and uh, they tell me that well we have uh, been brought up seeing that so it's nothing abnormal for us that's the norm that's normal for us mm -hmm. so uh, cultural norms some of them actually indulge in it to gain social acceptance some of them actually celebrate with alcohol apart from the poverty apart from the relaxation uh, relaxing uh, you know effect of alcohol okay so there are multiple factors multiple, which multiple need to be taken factors into account. Uh, that is uh, responsible now I'm coming to you mr. Pallabrasan Das as the <laughs> minister in charge of tea welfare and labor, uh, I think this is a serious challenge for the tea garden community. See, we, we take pride. Assam takes pride over its tea industry. It is a flourishing industry. 50 plus percent of Indian tea is produced here. We have five to six lakh direct employees, regular employees uh, to from the tea garden community in the industry. And yet, 
70 years or more after independence, why are we still discussing this, you know, uh, uh, issue of huge social menace? 170 people dying is not a matter of joke. Exactly. <coughs> first, <coughs> first thing you have to understand, what is the mentality? What is the, you have to think about their lifestyle. What is their lifestyle? And how this lifestyle, because you have to know about their history. What is their history? First, tea garden worker, their history is this, the history of exploitation. Because it is an organized way, the garden management, garden management means the Britishers. There's that time, Britishers are in organized way, they exploit them. And that's why they, in organized way, they provide this liquor to them. Because they provide, they, yeah, mm. they provide mm. it, yes. liquor. That liquor is become right now the custom or tradition or culture. Whatever yes. you, you can say, there's a culture. If you want to exploit somebody, this is an organized way to exploit them. Yes. This is the main reason. And after the independence, if you examine or if you go deft, what is the main <laughs> reason? There is no any school in that area. There is no alternative of amusement. There is no alternative Correct. for do anything. They don't have anything. After the hard working, if they go to their home, there is no alternative in their in front of their eyes or in their place. Yeah. Only one thing that if you go for alcohol to get rid of your anxiety or whatever, that is the one thing. And second thing is that that education is is not there. Only class four level school is there and there is no any education in institute in tea garden areas. It is the failure of earlier government or social, whoever is working in the tea garden areas, they, everybody has failed in this sector because tea garden workers are still they are thinking that they are not in the mainstream of Assamese people. They are thinking that we are isolated, we are not in the mainstream people. Nobody is care <laughs> for us. Nobody thinking for us. No, yes. everybody is only for the election during the election time or some such kind of time that people are coming to our place. The rest of the time, nobody will come and see what is going on in our tea garden areas. Mm -hmm. Only this reason, every day people are dying. The consuming alcohol, every day people are dying. Yes. Only this is the issue is raised because, because so because many people so die. many people die in it one tea garden. No, no, no. But every garden, if you see every garden, people are underage. If you see the people, their face, their yeah, they're underage. They all the children, all the people there, the nutrition values is not there. There is nothing. So that's why it is a one reason. So this is the this is ground reality. Ground that is reality, the and this is the what I can say. This is the learning experience to everybody. That this is the main in their main problem is right. in tea garden no. area. That I I okay. absolutely I think very deprived people. I think mm. I'll uh, I have lot lot of questions to ask the minister. He has been very candid. He has raised all the issues in a very very expressive manner. But my question to you, uh, I'll come back to uh, you, gentlemen. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Diras uh, Now, the minister has said basically education level is very low, literacy level. Only people are uh, most of the people are studied up to only class four. There are lack of lack of educational institutions, schools and all. Now my question is, does it take 70 years to read this kind of a situation, to get rid of that kind of a situation? What about the garden management? It has been a long time since the government of India made uh, every company to spend 2% of their profits on CSR. So we have come a long way even ever since. But what is the problem? Why is this alcohol so easily available? Yes, uh, I have taken his point saying that the British introduced but why should it continue? That is the question. Well, the PLA, when it was conceived, it was conceived as a welfare piece of legislation. Plantation Labour Act. Yes. Yes. And today, I would put it the other way around. Instead of being a welfare piece of legislation, it has led to total bondage. Today, the social and economic uh, indices, which the minister has just mentioned, 
is indeed a matter of very serious concern. And these social indices all point to the simple factor that the Plantation Labor Act, which was supposed to address these issues through the management, there has been a total collapse or there has been a total failure. Mm. This Plantation Labor Act seriously needs to be reviewed. The minister mentioned about housing. I will uh, go a step further. Today, those houses which are meant for workers are, uh, uh, are being shared with the entire workers' family. The sense of security which the PLA and the management has been giving has made the workers totally dependent. So, so, so you are making the broader point of living conditions. Yes. Living conditions. Mm. So the conditions have not been My question is, why has it taken 70 years? What have we done? Whose failure is it? Well, as I as had said earlier, all the government, the management, the society, everyone is to blame for it. So government, the, management, society. Yes. Uh, Sangeeta, I'm coming to you, but Pabban Bedia, uh, you know, I mean, what is going on? Actually, you know, 70 years old. Plantation Labor Act is an archaic piece of development. Minister will say his government is also trying to change the amend of Plantation Labor Act. Uh, I will ask him this question. But my question to you, Baban Bedia, is this government's fault or is community-based organization also failed in the same way? Everything is responsible. Uh, government is responsible. Uh, social organization may be responsible and uh, concerning department like excise also be responsible. But uh, regarding uh, Gulaghat and Jurhat incident, yeah. uh, there have uh, some doubtable point. Um, tea garden people are taken liquor, everybody knows. Yes. But uh, uh, such type of uh, above 150 uh, death, nothing had happened in earlier. Yes, that's um, what the minister said. Yeah. Uh, it's happening every day, but every day. now it is in focus only because so many people have died. Died. Uh, but uh, a, in Gulaghat and Jurhat incident, one uh, 75 uh, people had died. So we have doubt uh, why people that a large person, uh, large so uh, person. Are you, are you suggesting that there is a big organized uh, syndicate? Are yeah, you saying yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, it have some uh, uh, syndicate like uh, Laligur syndicate and uh, some uh, traders. Mm -hmm. Some traders they uh, business, trading business uh, like as uh, Sulai and, yeah. uh, and other alcoholic uh, items. Uh, so on behalf of Atsa, we <coughs> demand uh, government uh, earlier. We demand government earlier. Uh, that so we demand uh, what alcohol. Are, what, what are your demand? Uh, we, we demand government. Uh, alcohol is totally uh, banned in tea garden area okay. or, or village area. Okay. So the ATSA is demanding a total ban on alcohol. Uh, uh, alcohol. Dipankar, is this, is this a, a, a practical uh, idea which the ATSA is demanding? that there should be total ban on alcohol. Now, we have states like Mizoram where there is total prohibition. Yes. Uh, you know, where not just the government, but religious organizations like the church is also enforcing prohibition. So, is it, is it a practical suggestion? As I, as I said earlier, we should not work on supply. We should work on demand also. Because awareness is all this. And I want to say that... You are saying yeah. that... Supply bhi ban karna chahiye uh, or demand, de demand ko awareness ka jariye matlab yeah. ban karna chahiye. So government, uh, government must work on supply or hum jaise jo NGOs hai, jo social logs hai, jitna bhi so, uh, log hai jo ye kaam kar rahe hain, us sabhi ko chahiye ki wo awareness ke through bhi demand so, ke upar so, mein kaam so, kare. So, 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 Sangeeta, I mean that was what Dipankar is saying, um, what uh, Pabban Bedia is saying. Basically, there is a need for the government and the community based organizations and NGOs to work together. Hmm, yes, it's a collaborative effort. But uh, it's not just about the deaths, Vasbir. Uh, people who have actually survived, uh, I have read the newspapers today also, methanol is highly toxic <coughs> to the yes. optic nerve. So they have become blind, some of them. So what are they going to do after this? How are they going to uh, earn their livelihood after this? So that is another thing. So it's not, not just about the deaths. And apart from that, yes, demand and supply both needs to be taken into account, he rightly said. When it comes to the demand, See, it's awareness about everything, awareness about what uh, alcohol, which is ethanol, does to the body and the mind. 
See, people drink alcohol thinking it to be ethanol. Methanol causes the toxicity primarily because it's the adulterant. Okay. So, people need to know even normal alcohol when people are not facing deaths. Yeah. How can alcohol cause damage? Moderate drinking up to a particular time may not show harm or damage. Mm -hmm. But if it, if it becomes excessive, so, it, if the person right. becomes addicted, then it will cause damage So, it damage directly attacks the central kidneys. nervous system of a person and it, that can lead to all kinds of things. As you said, it can also lead to blindness. No, what methanol causes, see the yeah. toxic agent is methanol, which is the adulterant. Yeah. What we usually drink is ethanol. You know, but the toxic agent causes central nervous system depression, it causes bleeding in the, you know, cerebral edema, yeah. cerebral hemorrhage, it leads to death by causing right. metabolic acidosis. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the treatment is also very complex. So, Why so, so many so, people so are dying? Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Pallabrasan Das, uh, you know, basically, now those 170 odd people who have died, they are gone, they have already died. But uh, now, now the issue, how is the government going to deal with it? It's not a question of giving 2 lakh rupees. Your government is giving 2 lakh rupees compensation. That's okay. It's a good thing. But the point is, how are you going to deal with this huge problem now? So many children have become orphans. Both their mother and father have died in this whole tragedy. And as uh, Dr. Sangeeta Datta has said, many people who are in hospital, 150, 200, whatever is the figure, uh, they will also suffer permanent damage to their body, I like blindness. Yes. So, so what is the government's action plan? Apart from, uh, you know, the short term measures like creating awareness, trying to deal with the long term issue, but what are you going in the short term? Short term, first thing, <coughs> from our department, from the labor department, <coughs> first thing that our tea garden workers, see, they're, if you go by their lifestyle, their morning started from 5 o'clock. Yes from 5 o'clock till 5. After mm. 5, when they come back from their work, they used to have consumed this liquor. This is that time. That time, if you give them alternative to do some other work, they will get some opportunity to do something. There is nothing. So that's why we are trying, we are making self-help group in tea garden areas. Mm -hmm. We are trying to adolescent group in tea garden areas. And we try to make one development committee in tea garden areas. We will find, we will funding them to do some social work or something in tea garden areas. Then they will engage in tea garden workers in their yeah. Now, there is also another can we thing. Also give yeah. them, uh, Pallav, can we also give them some uh, options for recreational activities? Very recreational activity is very much important because there is no any recreational yes. activities in tea garden area. Yes. Only oh, those days in British time, they used to show the oh, monthly show, hmm. it's known as no, monthly but, show. But, but right now there is nothing. Hmm. Second thing but, is... But, but, so but, but you see, it is also the responsibility of the tea companies, isn't it? Is it the responsibility yes. to take care of the entire workers? Is it the only the government's no, responsibility? That, that's why that's why we are calling all the garden management. Hmm. All the garden management and this time labor department going to take the undertaking from the garden management that you have to give the undertaking that your inside your jurisdiction, there is no illicit liquor shop or anything in your area. You have to write to government that in my jurisdiction there is no such kind of liquor shop is there. We, you have to give so, the undertaking. So, 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 just yeah. a minute, Sangeeta. So, uh, so uh, Mr. Pallablasan Das, the breaking news at this point of time that you are saying is that Assam government is going to have a meeting with all the tea garden managements in the state, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you are making them accountable. You are taking an undertaking from each of these companies saying that there is no illicit liquor shops and business going around within your garden area. Mm -hmm. is the, am I right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, I think so, that's right so, 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 so my third question is, whose responsibility is it to, to provide some recreational, recreational facilities to the tea garden workers? Primarily tea garden management because they are their worker, they are industrial worker. Because okay. if they make them happy, then it will increase your productivity. It make the environment is very good. But right now, what is going on? 
because garden management is not looking after their all other activities. They That's why all the armrests for the children yeah. and adolescents. So British can time there is drama, sports, dance. Like, drama, dance, okay. sports okay. activities. Okay. Yes. You okay. can do everything. Okay. But I'll I'll go for a short break. When I come back, I'll ask this question. The suggestion by the All Assam Tea Tribe Students Association mm -hmm. that there should be total ban on alcohol in the tea garden areas. How can it be enforced or can it be enforced yes. at all? We'll come back after this very short break. Welcome back. Mr. Dhiraz Kakati, uh, the ATSA's appeal, ATSA's idea that there should be total ban on alcoholism. Okay, we are talking about awareness, we are talking about crackdown on these syndicates, everything is fine. But they have come up with a very simple solution. Ban alcohol totally, complete ban on alcohol. Is it practical? Can it be enforced? Banning alcohol is certainly not the answer. Yes, awareness, banning alcohol, these are all purely short-term measures. The root causes have to be addressed. That is the social issues. Social issues related to health, education, school dropouts, <coughs> early marriages. You see, these are the no, but, issues but, which... But, but, that, but has, you see, are, you, you, are you saying, no, what are I'm you saying? saying that, that has, this has not been done in the last 70 years of independence? If, when you see the total indices of tea garden workers' population, the IMR, the MMR, the school dropout rate, Still very particularly poor. amongst the women, yes. is very low. S school dropout uh, rate is very, very high. high. S school dropout rate is very high. We have to look at social inclusion. We have to look at empowerment of the woman, you see. And unless these things happen, these short-term measures are not going to lead to a permanent solution. So, Dipankar, uh, same question to you. Is it practical? Is it possible? Yeah. Simple question. Is it possible to come up with a total ban on alcohol? Is it possible or not? I don't think it's possible. Why? Because, uh, because uh, see, one place is closed, then the other place is closed again. So, the first thing is that you... I mean, you have to say that if it's still illegal, then it's going to go back illegally. It's going to go back to illegally. हम इसलिए बोल रहा है कि पहले से यही बात बोल रहा हूं कि अब बचपन से अगर उसको सिखाएंगे कि अल्कोहलिज्म क्या होता है अल्कोहल क्या होता है अगर हम उसे सिखाएंगे तो बड़ा होकर वो अल्कोहलिज्म के ऊपर में वो नहीं भी जा सकता है या उसके इतना तो ज्ञान रहेगा कि अल्कोहल पीने से ऐसा हो सकता है तो इसलिए मैं ये कहता हूँ कि गवर्नमेंट ठीक है गवर्नमेंट ये करता है साथ में डिटॉक्सीफिकेशन जो भी अभी सफरिंग्स है जो अल्कोहल ले रहा है उसके लिए डिटॉक्सीफिकेशन सो संगीता वॉट इज सेंग इज दैट वे सिस्टमेटिक कैंपेन एक तो नंबर वन अवेयरनेस नंबर टू सिस्टमेटिक डिटॉक्स ही टॉक्ड अबाउट ही इज एक्चुअली टॉक्ड अबाउट रिस्पांसिबल डिसीजन मेकिंग व्हेन अ माइंड इज अलर्ट अवेयर द माइंड कैन डिसाइड इवन इफ देयर इज अल्कोहल आई डोंट वांट टू ड्रिंक बट इन दिस सिचुएशन आई थिंक बैनिंग इज इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाई आई वांट यस इट at least to some extent. Of course, there can be people who will again start uh, doing illicit, you know, kind of, Correct. you know, they'll produce alcohol. But that does not mean that we will not ban. And our so, efforts will continue. What does it do? Banning will actually make some people who are dependent on alcohol go into withdrawal states. Because they are already dependent. Then you need medical then, intervention. Then, yes, then we give them detoxification and de-addiction. Then immediately we start with the awareness building, you know, awareness programs about what, how al alcohol affects you. And so, alcohol affects so, you physically, so, mentally, socially, absolutely. financially. Right. Uh, Paban, uh, you know, there are organizations. And, and, and was we just yeah. sorry. Yeah. The, lifestyle, the lifestyle issues cannot be neglected. We have to address the lifestyle issues also. Absolutely. Lifestyle issues have to be addressed. Now, yes. now Baban, uh, there are organizations dealing with alcoholism, like uh, Hope Foundation dealing with many, uh, many things, including drug addiction, not just alcoholism. Now, uh -huh. there are organizations like Alcoholic Anonymous and others. These are big organizations who are dealing only with alcoholism. Now, is it necessary for the government to take the help of all these specialized organizations and make them work in the tea gardens? Is it ne necessary? Right. Uh, alcoholism is a, a social problem, yes. not not community community based problem. It's a social problem. Uh, every uh, government and uh, tea garden management and uh, social orga organization, everything is uh, responsible for that. Uh, first of all, uh, government is 
first priority. So, government takes uh, some policies to control such type of uh, illegal uh, liquor. Uh, government should uh, take policy. Uh, nowadays, we have seen that uh, government have no any policy to control such type of uh, illegal, uh, illegal liquid businessmen. Uh, no any policy. Uh, um, if I uh, go deep to the incident, then we see that uh, the illegal liquor is available. Available. Available in tea garden or village areas. Why Absolutely. it is available in tea garden or village area? Why? That is the Why? big question. Big question. That is, is the big, big question. question. No. And another is, uh, another point is, uh, that means what? Uh, artificial liquor will be made. Artificial liquor may be made uh, to to use uh, for alcohol. Why are artificial no, let, let liquor? Me, let me absolutely. You have made some very important point. Now, Pallav uh, Das. Now, there is a strong case for banning, as Dr. Sangita Dutta has said. You ban. At least it will act as a big deterrent because if you ban, yes. Now also it is uh, being done illegally. Even after banning, some people will do it, but there will be a lot of restrictions. Yeah. It will empower the police. It will empower the excise department. It will also empower the tea garden management to take yeah. action because it has been banned yes. by the state government. Yes. Now, wh why can't you do it? Because this is not my <coughs> department. That's why I am not able no, to... No, but, but what is your personal view? My personal view is to... First, what are the responsibility of garden man, uh, go government? Government first do that. Government should do some... Make some policy. For tea garden, especially for tea garden. Yeah. One policy that we are banning in tea garden areas, totally ban illicit liquor or anything, any liquor in tea garden areas, you can't sell it out or you can't buy. Totally ban in tea garden areas. Yeah. Rest of the part I can't say anything. Yeah. But, but you, tea, are in, you are in you are in as the garden, minister, you are in favor of it. Yeah. You are supporting the Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm uh, in support that in tea garden area it should be banned. One thing. Second thing that we have to give them alternative solution to amusement on some other issue. If you start, another issue is also there. If you ban liquor, people have another thing. Some kind of this, what is called dendrite or some other... Uh, other uh, substance abuse. Substance. Like, this yes. other, other, because I have <laughs> seen in tea garden areas, some boys, some youths, they are having this... Uh, inhalers. Or some inhalers. Yeah. Yeah. inhalers, some other, yeah, what is called this, um, lots of, I, I don't know the names, yeah, that these are the, they will take all these things. people take a lot of inhalers, then rights and erasics and, and, and other white nurse. Some other issue. Yes. So that's why you also make rehabilitation center over there, because withdrawal right. is there. Yes. Because in right. Johar, in Sanjay. Johar, we have yeah. seen... Sometimes to control seen, withdrawal, Bala, yes. they go they back tie. to alcohol again. No, they tie in, yes. the, in yes. bad. Yes. Because their withdrawal symptoms is there. So that's why you have to make rehabilitation center in tea garden areas. Now, 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 now to clarify to for my viewers, just a minute, Sangeeta. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bala, uh, is your government, what you have said, you are talking about a holistic policy. You are saying that you are you are, you are in favor as a member of the community itself, as an important minister of the Assam government, looking after this particular community. You are saying that you are in support of total ban of alcohol in the tea garden areas. Number one, mm -hmm. number two, you are saying that alternative means of amusement and entertainment should be given. Yes. Third, uh, you are saying that uh, you know you have to also take care to see that people do not. Uh, after ban, they do not come into go into any other substance abuse, and there have to be detox centers uh, rehabilitate uh, the the addicts okay. later. So this is a holistic approach. Are you going to tell it? Uh, are you going to plead for this as a policy from your government? Definitely, from Labour Department, we have organized on fifth, fifth of March. On fifth of March, we have organized one meeting with the garden management. It will be held in Guwahati. Yeah, 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 held on Guwahati. Yeah. Same will address that meeting we are uh, will un invite all the welfare officer of the tea garden management they will come and we will discuss what is the exact problem in tea garden areas why is happening or other tea garden areas why this illicit liquor is so available in that area hmm. what is the main reason 
why people are having this kind of if somebody is working in under the tea garden they should sack from their job because how they yes. will yeah yes. this kind of policy is required so and in police department or excise department in any person who mm. is supplying in liquor in tea garden area they should punish in the now now pavan bedia uh, the minister is saying but in this entire such a huge tragedy Oh, Only know. two excise department people have been suspended. That means they were not doing their job properly, number one, or right. they may be in league, in collusion. They might be, they, they might be indulging in, I'm not generalizing. Right, right. I cannot generalize. I'm not saying that every official of the excise department is corrupt. No, every department of the police, nobody, I'm not generalizing at all. I'm saying that this, we have to investigate the role of the police as well as the excise department in these two districts, or for that matter in the entire state. Mm. Do you agree or not? Agree. Uh, so, on behalf of Artsa, we demanding high level inquiry. What is that? What is there? Uh, so, we want high level but inquiry. But there is already a commissioner uh, level inquiry given inquiry. by the Assam government. Co commissioner level. Uh, but we demand the inquiry is uh, do properly. Inquiry do properly. Uh, what is the uh, behind the incident? Well, behind the student, but, but yes. concerning department, uh, uh, excise department is completely failure. Uh, they uh, <coughs> they patronize the businessmen. They, they patronize the businessmen. The business yes, uh, Pallab, it's a very important, serious allegation. And police yes. department also patronize the businessmen. So, uh, the, this, uh, this type of illegal business is growing in the garden right. or uh, Because area. of the patronization uh, uh, by, the the, right by these people. Yes, yeah. uh, Pallav, you are saying that. Yeah. My, my submission is that we have to aware, mass awareness regarding that cab, regarding Assam asa agitation we have seen, the, what kind of agitation is going in our uh, State. state but in tea garden areas you don't find anything because its illicit liquor is going on everybody knows but about the responsibility does panchayat pratinidhi panchayat pri members mla mp or garden management or social organization if you go together in tea garden area then every problem but, will yes. solve because but, nobody uh, is entering in the tea garden area. As garden management, what is their attitude? Then nobody should come in our garden because if somebody will come in our garden, then they will know everything, the standard of living, what is the standard, how they are living in the tea garden areas. So that's why there is a, yeah, and plantation labor act. The, according to this plantation labor act, because of this plantation labor act, garden, Management is responsible for doing everything in tea garden areas. That's why garden not uh, in government, earlier government, they not even think that to do something in tea garden areas. They think this is not our responsibility. Whatever is going on in tea garden areas, this is, is the responsibility of the garden management. So you are we also are not responsible for right. this. Uh, for the first time, this hmm. government is trying to do something in the tea garden areas. We are Absolutely. trying to enter in tea garden uh, areas. I will ask you this question about what are your plans about what kind of modifications and amendments you want to bring. I am coming back to you. Diraz Kakuti, uh, now the minister is saying that there will be a meeting between the Assam government and the tea garden managements on the 5th of March and they will be, they'll be made to give an undertaking that there will be no such kind of illicit business going on and there will be strict action. And uh, he is, I mean, I mean, uh, we, so my it. question is, that means, do you think that the tea garden managements have been acting irresponsibly, uh, I mean, all this time? Let me tell you a reasonable amount of certainty that no illicit brewing takes place within the garden confines. Certainly not. It is all in the periphery. There are people who brew, uh, pe people of certain communities who brew this for particularly for sale and they find a ready market there. What the recent measures which have been taken, which perhaps will have uh, good results, yeah. is empowering adolescent girls club, empowering mothers club. These, uh, these are the change agents which can go amongst the workers, the lines and explain to them the ill effects of consumption of liquor. Of course, as I said, yeah. these efforts must be supplemented with proper education. The high schools, of course, are, now mm. the government has taken no. high schools and things that will come up. Middle school Correct. levels will come up in tea garden areas. So these are positive signals, but social transformation does not come in a hurry. 
Hmm. It is 70 it years no, since let me, independence. Let me, let me take this question. Women can play a crucial role. Women, Sorry? women. women yes. can play a women crucial role. Sure. Yes. No, let yes. me take this yes. question to Dipankar. Dipankar, you know, they I know that the most. Yeah. Uh, you are working in the NGO sector. Yeah. NGO sector has limitations. Hota hai. You don't have a huge workforce. Yeah. You have to work. Somebody mm -hmm. has to fund your project. Yeah. Only then you can go to a particular place to create awareness because everything yeah. costs money. Yeah. Now the question is, do you think that organizations like ATSA, which have a huge <coughs> number of volunteers yeah. and he, large number of members, do you think they should also take this kind of awareness program? I'm coming to you, Apkavi, uh, I'll come to you, ask you a question directly, Pavan. But uh, Dipankar, do you think organizations like ATSA has a big role to play? Yeah. Because they can bring about this grassroots level awareness. What have organizations like them been doing all this yeah. time, all this while? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? My mean is that they can come and come and come and come. They should also do this on alcohol awareness. And I want to say that as their association, they also have some tips or counseling tips or how to do detoxification. Look, the effects of alcohol are only the effects of that person and the effects of that person are not the effects of that person. It is not the effects of that person. पूरा फैमिली के ऊपर में होता है सफर करता है पूरा फैमिली के ऊपर होता है सो इसलिए उस फैमिली को बिकॉज़ डी डी पेरेंट्स इंटेंशन में इस भी राइट बट दे आर मेथड इस रॉंग सो दे आर सफरिंग यूज़ डी टर्म कोडिपेंडेंस फॉर डी स्पाउसेस कोडिपेंडेंस वो नशा के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है और वो जो फैमिली है उनके ऊपर में डिपेंड है सो इसलिए कोडिपेंडेंसी हम लोग कहते हैं हम लोग अभी गवर्नमेंट के साथ अभी मैं दो दिन पहले ही दो चार दिन पहले ही मैं पीएनआरडी मिनिस्टर के साथ बात किया मैं उनको बोला जब आप क्योंकि कनकलता महिला सबलीकरण जो गवर्नमेंट का जो फ्लेक्सिब स्कीम है जितने महिला समिति जो भी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप है मैं उनको बोला आप एक चिट्ठी लिखो और सबको आप बोलिए जब आप सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप के थ्रू एल्कोहल को आप लोग पूरा इलिसिड लिकर या एल्कोहल को एवरनेस आप जनरेट कीजिए अगर महिला निकल के जाएगी तो बहुत ही चेंजेस आएगा तो आप अगर ऐसा करते हो दस या बारह ग्रुप का महिला ग्रुप को आप लोग लेते हो उनको थोड़ा एल्कोहल के ऊपर ट्रेनिंग देते हैं और आठ साल भी अगर निकल के उनके साथ बात करते हैं तो एक साथ मिलके अगर महिलाएं जाएंगी किसी भी जगह पे जो इलिसिड लिकर हो रहा है किसी को कहाँ पे अगर कुछ हो रहा है वो लोग अगर समझाएंगे तो बहुत सारे चेंजेस हो रहा है इट्स अ वेरी गुड आइडिया आई विल आई विल गो आई विल गो फॉर अ ब्रेक बट आई कम बैक बट बिफोर गोइंग टू द ब्रेक पवन बेडिया यू नो इज वेरी इजी टू क्रिटिसाइज द अथॉरिटीज बट डू यू थिंक यू आल्सो हैव अ बिग रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी at at this time to play a positive role among the tea garden community. और आप क्या what is in your mind अब क्या करेंगे आगे आने वाले दिन में? What are you going to do? Right, Atsa have been doing such type of activities, our like as awareness, yeah, anti alcoholism. तो बात ऐसा है कि Atsa बहुत पहले से ये कर रहा है. लेकिन आठ साल जो ये छुड़ाने के लिए जो स्टेप लिया है तो उसमें हम लोग का जो सोसाइटी है सोसाइटी के आदमी से हमको सपोर्ट चाहिए तो हम लोग इसलिए गवर्नमेंट का जो डिपार्टमेंट है एक्साइज एक्साइज डिपार्टमेंट और ये एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन से हम लोग ये मेमोरेंडम पहले से दिया है तो ये गवर्नमेंट के तरफ से हम लोग का कुछ तरफ अभी तक पॉजिटिव रेस्पॉन्स नहीं मिला है पॉजिटिव रेस्पॉन्स नहीं है बात ऐसा है कि ये अभी मंत्री जी ने कुछ कहेंगे आपको मेरा एक हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट है आठ साल का क्योंकि मैंने भी आठ साल किया था मेरा हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट है आप लोग टी गार्डन के जितने भी महिला है जितने भी संगठन है वहाँ पे सबके साथ बैठ के बात करिए बात करने के बाद बोलिए जो यहाँ पे कहीं पे कोई भी आदमी अगर दारू पीता है या दारू बेचता है या नशा करता है हम उनके ऊपर एक्शन लेंगे अगर सोशियली अगर उनको हम लोग बैन कर सकते हैं सोशियली उनको अगर हम लोग पकड़ सकते हैं तो चेंज होगा जो भी सोसाइटी आज आगे बढ़े हैं उनको किसी भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हो या विद इन द सोसाइटी हो किसी ने उनको रोका है टोका है तो मैं ब्रेक में जाऊंगा अच्छा के जनरल सेक्रेटरी होने के नाते पवन बेडिया जी आप क्या कम्युनिटी को आज आश्वासन दे सकता है क्या दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इन द कमिंग डेज यू आर गोइंग टू टेक दिस सीरियसली यस वे हैव टेक नेसेसरी स्टेप एब्सोल्युटली नेसेसरी स्टेप अमंग आवर ओन कम्युनिटी ओन कम्युनिटी इन द 
take uh, some helps uh, regarding this matter uh, or through other organizations, yes. NGO okay. and, uh, and government. Agency, Absolutely. Uh, government the, so, so that is a very important. Also. That is a very important assurance uh, coming from the uh, uh, Assam, Assam Tea Tribe Students Association that they are going to uh, take this matter very seriously, create awareness, and also take the help of other NGOs right. and other organizations and carry this further. We we'll go for another short break. Stay on. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Dr. Sangeeta Dutta, now you had earlier in this program, you had made a very significant suggestion that this tragedy of this magnitude, where we have 170 people already dead, 200 battling for life in hospitals, some of them are in extremely critical conditions. And as you have said, the toxic chemicals can maim them for life. Yes. Now, what is your suggestion? What, are, what is, should be the road ahead? Those who have died are gone. But what about those who are sick with this uh, toxicity of consuming that particular, uh, I mean, you know, batch of alcohol. What should be done? What is the road ahead? Some of the damages, very unfortunately, are irreparable and irreversible. And uh, whatever can be reversed, you know, medical treatment has to be provided. And I think the government has a huge role to play. Again, the government, because here, these people are very poor. They cannot afford treatment by themselves. Yeah. That is one. The second thing is, I think in this case, prevention is the primary goal. You know, we have to prevent because the damage is irreversible in most cases. And of course, death is so common. So that is there. Apart from that, as a psychiatrist, it just struck me that a lot of such poor people drink to relieve themselves of their anxieties and tensions after a very hard day at work. But they must remember that a lot of uh, people who are into addiction because of physical and emotional ill health, there is also a lot of absenteeism at work, which means that so, poverty, so, poverty so is going to worsen. Some, let, me, let, me, let me come to the point. As a psychiatrist, are you suggesting that the tea garden management or the government should also think of organizing regular counseling sessions among the tea garden Absolutely. workers? Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. The, it has to be at so many levels, actually. There has to be regular counseling facilities. There has to be yeah. counselors. There has to be people who can identify people very early who but are they into drinking. To, they can be visiting counselors. We can Absolutely. have a whole, they can there, be a whole lot home. of community. There can be home-to-home -home visits also. There can be community workers. There can be NGOs. There can be a lot of people. And like it has been suggested, because yeah. women and children suffer the most, they can play a very proactive role. They can be self-help groups. And we can motivate them. In fact, I would like to say that even people like us are ready to go and help if you know we can help that way because it will be a good cause. Absolutely. Now, Ms. Ms. Dharas Kakati, now, 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 mm. what is the role of the, according to you, is the role of the tea garden management? Now, they're coming for a meeting with the government on the 5th of March. Now, the issue is uh, tea garden management, uh, we like it or not, some of the time they want to remain in a cocoon. They, as the minister has said, they don't want too many people to go and intrude into what's going on in a particular tea garden. So that has been the practice because maybe the colonial hangover, maybe things have changed now. What is your, as a former tea administrator, so what is the role of the tea garden management in dealing with issues like this? Well, let me tell you, first thing, the I, I, I hope you'll be absolutely blunt yes. and frank. The primary responsibility of the tea garden management is to produce tea and earn profit. Yes. Everything else it's is not secondary. social service. Yes, it is not social service. Everything else <coughs> is secondary. And but, but, but at the same time, I must intervene to say that this is a labor intensive industry. You cannot produce tea and make profit without the workers who are working for you. Yes, certainly, certainly that, that, that issue is there. Uh, the provisions which are specified are already there. The hospital is there, doctors are there. But obviously, this issue is far beyond that, far beyond that. And management is certainly not in a capable position to handle this issue. Just to take on from Sangeeta what she had mentioned, uh, alcoholism is one part. Yeah. Mental health is such a serious issue in the tea plantation areas. We did a survey recently to another foundation which I head, and in the districts of uh, Naugaon and uh, Sunitpur. It is alarming. It is alarming. Fortunately for, for us, we saw that the, the tea tribes welfare department is actually taking some initiatives to now address this issues of mental health through NGOs. Similarly, okay. this issue of alcoholism, 
and well, well, it is well said to bring the welfare officers on board. Policing is not management's job. They cannot do Absolutely. policing. Absolutely. And therefore, policing is not it is the job. empowerment of the community through the self-help groups, whether it's Mother's Club, whether it is Adolescent Girls Club, they need to be trained, empowered so to lot carry of, the message. Uh, the, every strata of society within the community has to be involved. Now, I'm running short of time. Dipanka, what are your concluding remarks? So, I want to say that whoever is now affected, they should come to the treatment. And I want to say one thing before, look, from two or three days back, there was a girl who was nine years old, who had taken alcohol for six months before, and they gave her a child line, because we have a juvenile relationship. So, I asked her, why are you taking it? She said that in my house, my father was in my house, my father was in my house, वो भी लेता था इसलिए मैं लेता हूँ, so ऐसे हो रहा है तो इसलिए मैं आपको फिर से कहूँगा जब हम लोग को निकाल के आने चाहिए एनजीओस हो जो भी स्टूडेंट यूनियन हो या डॉक्टर साहिबा जो भी है उनको साथ में निकाल के आने से इसके इस प्रॉब्लम everybody has to come out yeah everybody has to come out to deal with this problem पवन बेडिया your concluding remarks first of all I appeal to government government should take some policies strict policy, uh, which policy may uh, control the illegal uh, liquor business. Yes. Uh, on the other hand, government uh, should um, stop the illegal business of Laligur. Um, the, the, the basic raw material basic used raw material. to make this uh, uh, local uh, brew. Uh, yes. Right, right. Uh, when, uh, when we observed about Laligur, who will provide the license to supply Laligur, then we observed um, yeah. uh, truly we okay. nothing, nothing any so policy government, to, nothing I, any I policy. get your point, government right. should be strict, they should deal with the source that is the liquid molasses or Laligur right. that is used to make this local brew. Very yeah. quickly, yeah. Sangeeta Datta, before I ask the minister to make the concluding remarks. Sangeeta. Um, I think regular drinking of cheap alcohol is a form of slow suicide and initially we drink alcohol but later alcohol eats us up. So we need to remember that yeah. and we need to address all the root causes and try yes. to deal with it effectively. Absolutely. Uh, your concluding remarks, uh, Mr. Pallablo Sandas, is the government prepared to work together with the NGOs, the civil society, the organizations dealing with uh, uh, alcoholism as well as the tea garden management in dealing with these issues? Definitely, <clears throat> we are trying to make a system that all the stakeholders should come together and will work for tea garden worker. But my humble request to all the intellectuals or socially responsible people, people please do come in tea garden areas. You come and see what is the position. If you go in their home, if you talk with them, if we love with them, then you will feel that they will also feel that we have to change. If they have a change of feeling that they have, they, if they will feel to change that this is the right Absolutely. time. Absolutely. This is the right time because it is eye opener to everybody. So that's why we should go in tea garden areas Absolutely. and we talk we to Absolutely. Yes. Now, yes. my, my, my uh, I, every good conversation has to come to an end. My appeal, since the Atsa is also here, since the minister is also here, he's a dynamic young political leader, my appeal will be that the Assam government under his initiative of people like Pallab Sundas should take up initiatives to organize festivals, divide the state into zones where there are tea gardens, at least two to three major festivals uh, uh, involving the tea community where you bring other communities also and get a, into a big yes. annual calendar. Uh, so that will be a source of entertainment. People will look forward to this particular event. One, you can hold one in Tejpur area, you can hold one in Upper Assam, and you can hold one somewhere else. So this is my humble submission, and I hope you are going to take it up. In the, and with this, I end this edition of North East Tonight. I thank all my panelists for being here and engaging in this very, very uh, important issue of alcoholism in the tea gardens. Good night, goodbye, and good night. <laughs>